All right, day five. I looked up the graffiti in the back. It basically just says nationalism. The word nationalism. I brought the bandages. Now leave me alone. (laughs) Bruno's back. Oh, yeah, so... Oh, yeah, so Bruno... It said Bruno returned instead of... uh, Well, I guess it said Marco is back at the end of the last one. Yeah. Well, Bruno returned because he was on his uh, side mission. Yeah. Right, yeah. So did they pay you anything? Or do you just get, like, goodwill? We we get goodwill. Everyone's everyone's content now. Bruno is very tired, so he's going to take a while to sleep. We have enough shit for an improved workshop. Improved metal workshop, Pavel, I mean. Pavel's really not doing great. He's hung. Well, if you notice, that last thing is content, so that's actually a positive thing. Oh, okay. He's happy. He's happy for our choices. Oh, probably because Sorry. between the mission and uh, saving the guy with the baby, we've actually done a lot of good so far. Right, yeah. So now we can build right, saw axes and saw blades and guns if and- we have them. Yeah. Axes are super useful. And helmets and other stuff. So what do you need to build? Looks like parts. For saw and... blades, you need weapon parts. Okay. Which is... Marco did the right thing. Honestly, those weapon parts will more likely go to saw blades than they go to actual weapons. Yep. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm saw guessing blades and them... axes. <laughs> I'm guessing for the most part here, yeah. Because an, an axe is a tool that is that seems very functional as a weapon. Yeah. The handy thing about the axe is it can actually chop up background furniture for wood. It turns, oh, nice. it turns into wood and fuel. So there's like, that's where you can do with a bunch of useless stuff. Oh, the merchant shows yeah. up the day you collect five diamonds? Yep, Franco's back. <laughs> Guess who's back? <laughs> Maybe he's, back. you know, Again. knew it was coming. <laughs> I heard that my buddy sent you some diamonds. I like diamonds. <laughs> I like having nice things. Treat yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. See now the the chair has the uh, axe symbol. So does the dresser. <laughs> yeah. So now that we have the axe in the inventory, it's going to be a constant game of brinksmanship to not accidentally break the beds when I try to sleep in them. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You're just gonna buy up all of his crafting materials. Yeah, that's usually the way I go with it. Yeah. So this way, because when you buy the parts early, then you. Uh... At the end, you have your own. You have more of your own capabilities to deal with. Yeah. Now, there we are actually hampered here by the fact that each side of this deal can only contain eight items or less, or eight stacks. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why I keep shifting things around and put and changing things out for more or less expensive things. That's a really obtuse. I mean, yeah, that's a that's that's a really obtuse mechanic. I guess it's better than having an actual like inventory space in your place. You can sort of see it though, right? Like a merchant comes in, he's like, "All right, we're we're getting too complicated with this. I will trade you that for this." Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair too. It, yeah, it keeps it simple. Also, did you just trade all the rest of your diamonds? Yeah, they're not doing yeah. anything. They're not worth anything I guess, except yeah. barter fuel. Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking, like, that there's a part of me that... Because didn't he say that's very generous of you when you were doing that? Um, Initially, he, but by the end, yeah. he was barely accepting the deal. Yeah. Gotcha. So, like, you notice, as I add stuff to his side, he goes down to, you know, yeah, fine, we can have a deal. Right. Filters are handy. Yeah, water filters are nice, but I don't have the yeah, thing that cause... uses them yet. Right, yeah, that's uh, for a rainwater collector. Yeah. Basically, each of them translates to uh, three scrap worth of stuff. How often does how often does it rain? It hasn't rained yet. It doesn't. It just... Well, it rains sometimes, but you can collect rainwater any time. It's more of a condensation collector. Okay. So like, Okay, so it's, it's a dew collector, yeah. basically. Like, over eight hours, you get four drops of water. How many how many drops does a does a survivor consume in a day? Uh, zero actually. It all goes into the food. Oh, okay. The uh, each of the meals takes like two, three, or four drops of water. So what did you just build there? It looked like a still. That was the rainwater collector. Oh, okay. That has to be built in very specific places, like next to windows. 
Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. I was surprised it didn't have to be built on the third floor under the giant hole in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, Margo did the right thing. So now I'm going to have uh, Pavel start wrecking this shit. Take that piano. That was just a, a desk, just but I, I admire your <laughs> candor. <laughs> yeah, good hustle. <laughs> You might not be able to see because things are kind of gritty right now. Actually, uh, from from what I understand about pianos, it would actually be really hard to turn that into furniture because pianos are made of like they're they're made of wood that is so hard you need specialized tools to drill it. Yeah. Especially you know the areas that hold in like the tuning pegs and stuff. Right, making. I read a uh, whole something awful thread where a guy who was like a skilled carpenter tried to fix a piano he had and it was like the thing was it's not a grand piano so it's one of the ones where all the mechanisms are kind of folded up yeah so he had to disassemble the entire thing to get to the tuning board which had uh splintered and uh, so it would always go out of tune because none of the pegs were ever kept in line all right the rainwater collector is collecting water now nice so all the, yeah, this seems like, yeah, uh, that's one of the main things I'm noticing about this is this game's a lot less tedious because of how much everything's abstracted. That was the main thing. That was the main, um, to talk about other games for a second, that was the main problem I had with Sheltered, was that right. um, you had food and water as separate things, and the main thing was you needed water to go to do runs. <laughs> you are dead. So you <laughs> forgot to brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. You should have started growing toothpaste a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was, yeah, the, one of the things was, like, you needed water to, um, because you survive, you actually had to take care of sanitation in that game, so you had to build a shower, uh, otherwise, if your survivors got too dirty, they'd start getting food poisoning whenever they ate stuff. Yeah. Um, and you also needed to build a toilet. Yeah, uh, which also consumed water, and yeah. water only comes when it rains, and the game decides it rain. the game rains when it wants to. <laughs> so, you can just get real fucked by RNG and also you can't you can't do runs when it doesn't rain because your survivors need X amount of days worth of water to go out and to go to a location yeah especially later on the axe is really handy for scavenging too I think it's, right, yeah. it's basically the main advantage to the church the church has a catacomb full of furniture yeah, I figured it was just you go to the church because it's full of pews. <laughs> the night. Speaking of the church, there it is. St. Mary's Church. And we can go to the hospital. Oh, let's go to the military outpost. The military outpost is actually fine. Really? So the so a couple of these places, uh, the hospital and the outpost especially, contain merchants that you can trade with like you trade with Franco. But, okay. But the problem so is it's, it's you can only trade them there. what you bring in and only bring out what you can hold. Okay, so you can't stash anything that you trade? Right. Generally speaking. There might be like a little pile you can put in put it into, but Unless you have a, uh, you know, genitals of steel. In oh, which case yeah. the military outpost has another purpose. Right. <laughs> yeah, I noticed it was just straight danger. <laughs> All right. Going back to Sniper Junction, bringing in our saw blades now. Yeah, so you can break into that kitchen. A couple places, really. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 9 p.m. Good time for looting. Come on, buddy. There he goes. God, this oh, guy I see. That's so many bullets. I see. The flashing is where you're clicking. Oh, yes. I just can't see that because I can't see your cursor. <laughs> oh, there's some rats. Is that guy's TV still on? Yep. Baby's gone, though. So is the guy. Yep. Yeah, it's not a great scene. Although his leg is wounded, so I'm curious where he went. Yep, so that's how the saw blade works. You get in. Food. Ah, oh, that's a good stash. It had a saw blade. 
No, that was me. That was uh, me. Okay. That, I, I have another saw blade. In case there's another uh, bar door. Mm -hmm. Which I think I see up there. There yep. it is. Where is it? Is it a lock? No, it's not a locked door. Hey, you didn't see anything. <laughs> this sweet, sweet shortcut action, just like Dark Souls. <laughs> just like Dark Souls, except more punishing to the soul. And to the dark. By the way, that rotten fruit is fertilizer. Oh, yeah. okay. You, oh yeah, it's cool. We set up you can use you you can use it for herbal gardens or as bait for the animal traps. Okay, that Huh. Okay. I guess it's just it's old food. It's rotten fruit. It's rotten fruit and stuff like that. Right, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna take it from this part. Do you actually make the runs back and forth across the junction? A couple, yes. So we have a moment to talk. You and I. And Matt. Ugh. <laughs> uh. You got a lot stashed right next to that statue. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the easiest place to stash things until you start making the rounds back and forth. Yeah, eventually you want to get stashed Yikes. on a spot next to the exit, but... Right, yeah, that makes sense. Um, also seems like your saw ran out after, what, one use? Yes, one, saw, one, one use. use. But I've got two okay. saw blades, so I can still open that other one. Well, gotcha. Well, one yeah, I now. guess that's what happens when you have to, like hand make a saw mm -hmm. out of firearms parts this door is great and and random pocket knives right yeah out of weapon pieces <laughs> yeah their item is not even full weapons just pieces of them <laughs> unfortunately you cannot take you cannot cobble the pieces of the broken item back together into a usable item now here's the jackpot busted guitars oh nice two of them and and a shotgun, I guess. Oh, and actually, like, a actual gun. Yeah, a real gun yeah. that we have no ammo for, but a gun nonetheless. We'll never use it. Just just stick those uh, just stick those 9 mil bullets in there. They'll work fine. Yeah, that is that is one of the weapons that can maybe, maybe let you take on an Enclave sort of deal. An Enclave deal? Like, yeah, like stuff like military base. outposts. And <laughs> okay. Still not recommended. Yeah, you'll still die. Yeah, I'm guessing when it comes to, you know, trained soldiers, you probably just want to stay out of the way. Generally speaking, yeah. Uh. Also, for a second, I thought it said that the guitar was a powerful weapon, but then I realized it was the, uh, it was the description for the shotgun. <laughs> yeah. So, there's an interesting mechanic in this game with the guitar. Once you, uh, repair it back at the workshop, you can have people play it, but only some of the survivors know how to play the guitar. <laughs> right, yeah. And you don't have any real indication of who can. Yeah, but it, it's static with the survivors, so Marco can never play the guitar. Right, yeah, I'm guessing that all the survivors... It's Okay, so now you're just running back and forth from the statue to a safe mm -hmm. place? Yeah. So that you don't have to keep braving uh, sniper fire? Well, all he's really doing yeah. is front-loading the risk, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm making a lot of runs now, so I don't have to distribute it over, like, 12 nights. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Also, it'll make all the rest of your runs faster, since you're, like, assembly lining this. Yeah. You, 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 play, you, made, you made a route. <laughs> Gotta get closer so he'll shoot. Nope, there he is. <laughs> Why does this guy do this? Because he's bored. So many bullets. Uh, maybe he's military. They're actually well supplied, most likely. Yeah. Oh man, that's so much lumber. So much everything. Yeah, but look at all that lumber. I can't carry that sugar. <laughs> no, no room, no room for sugar. <laughs> sugar, despite what you might think, cannot be eaten. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Provides very I little mean, protein, and that I mean nothing. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, it doesn't have any nutritional value. It's calories. What do you use it for? Is it just... What, what do you use it for? Is it just Making like... Making the moonshine. Is it just moonshine. the thing you put... 
Okay, I, th I figured it was something that, like, some survivors really need to yeah. drink coffee, but don't like the taste of coffee. Nah, it's, no. uh, it, you, all the moonshine takes, I think, is sugar and water. I, I don't know if anybody in this situation is going to be insisting on sugar with their coffee. Honestly, if I had it, maybe. Gotta keep that morale up. Yeah. It's true. Dang. Nope, can't fit those diodes in there. But I want them. too many boards. <laughs> yeah, that, what is that, that? Oh, one. The, the that, other, the other is books. That one diode and one capacitor. <laughs> so you just need like four of those. You can build a radio. Do you make the last run? Do you feel the need? Uh, I mean, it's only three fifty. How long does it take to run back and forth oh. from that statue? You got until it's, six a.m. Right? It's now four o'clock. Time advances in ten minute increments. Right, yeah, but I mean you still got two hours left in game. One hour. Oh, it's okay, it's until five. Yeah. I I think I would have made the run if time wasn't encroaching. Yeah. Just to be done with it. Yeah. Plus, in my playtest of this game, I uh I got shot in the foot. <laughs> oh, that's bad. I guess I, well, it could be worse. Yeah, it was a glancing blow. He was only slightly wounded, but eh. <laughs> not ideal. He's not exactly the fastest uh, scavenger anymore. Yeah. How long does it take to recover from something like a bullet wound? It depends how bad it hits you. If it takes you down to like heavily wounded or moderately wounded. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's all it's it's again it's all just abstracted to wound levels. Yeah. And it's plenty mm -hmm. of really fine stuff. It gets what exponentially worse as it goes. Oh man, they stole your vegetables. No, nah, your shotgun? Nah, they didn't. That's that's the stuff I brought home. Yeah, the raiders were fended we, we, off. We, yeah, we fended off the raiders with our weapons. Used to be with an your, optimist. Okay. One of the people who would have sworn that war wouldn't come. Wars happen far away in third world countries, or so I thought. The news gets scarier day by day. Something is waiting for it to happen. Pavel doesn't get a news story. Yeah, over time, you start revealing more of the survivor's uh, backstory. Right, yeah. Pavel, Pavel cares for nothing but football. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen much of Pavel, I think just because he's been wounded and then sick and then sick and wounded. <laughs> so the problem with Pavel is he's better than most other survivors, but Marco is better than him. <laughs> yeah. We, Marco is the best at night and Bruno is the best at day. <laughs> But I have, been, I have been sending Pavel around to just do the things around the house because he runs to them faster. I guess also as the footballer, he's... I guess also as the athlete, he's probably better at... I don't know. It, does, does, does any, do any of his stats matter for defending against Raiders? Yes, actually. All three of these characters are considered decent guards. Huh, I didn't know there was a... It's a hidden stat, essentially. Yes, it's it's mostly based on their combat capability, which varies by a uh, survivor. So Roman is the best guard. So what are you building right now? Uh, right now, out of, out of cinder blocks. Um, hold on a second. I'm not sure actually. I'll I'll let you know when I build it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's an optimistic. We'll be fine. He's content. Oh, you've got a slug. Yeah, 66. Hmm. So you got a wardrobe up there you haven't chopped yet. Yeah, that's a shame. What uh, is this? What ooh. is this intact furniture doing? Oh, the garden. That is that is the herbal garden. Ah, uh, okay. Right now, oh, you can also make fertilizer out of stuff. Yeah, right now all I can do is make fertilizer and herbs, mm. which can be used to make uh, shitty cigarettes. But if I upgrade it, I can use it to make vegetables and become more sustainable. Gotcha. Components we need. Oh, right. So this needs filters every day. Every time you want to um, run it. Yeah. Yeah. It it's completes its course in five hours and then it lays barren until you put a new filter in. Gotcha. Oh, oh there goes that armor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> not long. Not long for this world. <laughs> Uh, so how does combat actually work in this game? It seems like everything's kind of a... So It seems like you have a very indirect control manner. So, next time we get into the night phase, take a look at the top left of the UI. 
there will be a button that says scavenge and a button that will uh, let me switch to the weapons I'm carrying. Okay. That puts you into combat mode. So you actually have direct control in combat mode? For the most part. So if you start having a gun in your hand, you can start taking cover behind things like uh, desks and shelves and things like that. Mm -hmm. And you can fire from behind there. With melee weapons, you can attack people, but every time you attack someone who's aware of you, there's a percent chance based on the combat skill of the survivor. I'm busting the chair up. <laughs> that was our only chair. What are you doing, Pavel? <laughs> Look, you can sit on a bed. I needed that. Oh, yeah. that, I need that The chairs my... are actually somewhat functional. They increase the comfort score of the house. Yeah. Gotcha. So I that's why, you, that's why you tear them apart and replace them with armchairs. Nah, I busted up my only uh, my only chair so I'd have enough wood to board up another hole in the house. Uh. But anyway, uh, when you're doing melee combat, there's a percent chance based on your uh, combat skill, but never a hundred percent on whether or not you win the scuffle. So you click on it, and then it goes into a fight dude thing, and that's a, a dice roll happens there. Yeah, you, you sort of push each other back and forth a bit with your weapons, and then uh, someone will take damage. One of the two of you. Gotcha. So if you look at the right, it mentions what the place needs. We lack chairs now. <laughs> yep. And we can. Oh yeah, we need some place we can get. Or, uh, the shelter is a place where we can get respite from war. Oh yeah, we lack chairs. Is the first line there? <laughs> yeah, but that's more or less the only thing we lack, except for the fact that we. Uh... Yeah, now you have fewer holes in your walls. Yeah. Rad. <laughs> Most... Also, I like that your guy. I like that your guy built a badge for your uh, radio. <laughs> Rad. I never noticed that, actually. <laughs> Most animals have disappeared from the streets. Keep that in mind when buying meats from Dubious sources. sources. You saying this is a rat burger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you... So if you go to one of those music stations, you might notice it changes the background music. Mm -hmm. Having that running actually very slightly uh, makes your survivors happier. So does the radio have a limited amount of time it can run? Nope. Like, what? Does it need power? Nope. No, it goes thankfully. forever. Okay. So there's no reason not to keep the music on all the time, then. Except for the fact that it might trigger a copyright claim on your video. Yeah. That would never happen, though. <laughs> Hypothetically. Especially on public domain classical music. Yeah, that's, that would be ridiculous and <laughs> out of place. <laughs> yeah, good thing YouTube doesn't do that. It happened, audience! <laughs> I think they got that. <laughs> no, it wasn't clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it, it was determined to not be metaphorical. Look at all these places we can go. So many places. We have a ruined via. We have a hotel. We have a quiet house. It's not a house made for quiet. It's a house that happens to be quiet. And it's one of the most depressing locations in the game if you're a mean person. Ooh. But the quiet. So where did we decide to go? Fair. The quiet house. I think Sniper Junction again. Why did you bring a shovel? Wait, if I brought a shovel and a saw blade, that means I'm school. going to uh, the school. Right. Yeah, I got to get rid of all that debris. Yep. You got to deal with the survivor that's hanging out in here. Yep, nope, rat. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yeah, but he's in that other room. So I did see a I did see a bladeable door on the way through, if you recall. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is so much better. Yeah. So if you look in the top left, I can switch to the shovel now, which counts as a melee weapon. Oh, okay. I see it. I, yeah, okay. I, I didn't understand what that said. Shovel's doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I can't complain. It's a shovel. It does shoveling things. It moves stuff to another place. This pile of rubble was completely impassable until we took it down. <laughs> yeah, that was two piles of rubble in a row. Oh man, look at all that lumber. Yeah, that's all the stuff I... That, that's my hidey spot. Oh yeah, right, that was your stash. 
Oh man, there's a thing we can look at. Yeah. Let's start cutting. I don't know why there's bars in this school, but okay. That must be, this appears the, to be the, the safe room. room. <laughs> this appears to be where all the kids hold up. Army helmet and pure alcohol. Nice. That's good stuff. Nice, and coffee. Mom, it's terrible. A girl I knew was shot today by a man called Sniper. I can't believe I won't see her again. She was such a kind girl. What'd she do to this Sniper? They turned off the electricity and the teacher said we would have to stay in school a little longer today. And that reminds me of when I was in, uh... Man, I was in 7th grade when I heard about the, uh, the 9-11 attacks. Oh, shit. I remember hearing about this guy, I think it was uh, during my art class, but then my history teacher uh, informed us of what happened. Yeah. And I remember, um, I remember I just knew it was carried out by some guy named Osama Bin Laden. Uh, <laughs> Samuel Bin Laden. I remember I wrote in a journal the next day, I hate terrorism. Nice. The hard-hitting journalism. Yes. <laughs> oh, your, your survivor. That sounds like the start of an action. There movie. he is. There he is down there. He's dead. Oh, there's also some other guys hiding out. I'm guessing they're not gonna be happy when you like enter their place. Let's see. I'm faster than them, also, maybe. Also, what's up with this wallpaper? What is this school? Uh, I think it's connected oh, hey guys. to another building, maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna like raid your stash. Oh, that's cool. Speaking of, we're about to see uh, an interaction icon we haven't seen before. Not just yet, though. Ooh, look at all that medication. All that herbal nice. medication. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't bring your uh, crowbar? I'll be back for no. you, dresser. Yeah, that one on the right there. That is the steel icon. Ooh. They don't care as long as I'm taking from the things with the big white hand, if they will care if I take that. Gotcha. I'm guessing that's where your most valuable shit is. Sometimes. Or sometimes it's just, you know, what's left. Sure. <laughs> Let's see what's in the secret stash. Oh man. Meat, meat and moonshine. And <laughs> meat and pure alcohol. That's good stuff. And a fridge. I can't tell if there's magnets on that fridge or bullet Whoa. holes. And the fridge is full of construction materials and water. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a full inventory worth of construction materials. Hey. Up. Oh. Bud. Sorry. Don't sneak up on me like that. What's that? Icon up top. That's the sneak icon. So that's a hidey hole I can jump into if I'm being pursued. Oh, uh, okay. As long gotcha. as they don't see you enter it. And if someone walks by having not seen me, you can jump out and do a sneak attack on them, which usually instantly kills them. Sure. Oh, except for yeah, those Susan. really unfortunate times that they, it doesn't. Yeah, and they just beat you up <laughs> anyway. It, it works until it doesn't, yeah. So, if you notice on the bottom left, there's, an, there's a... There's a little vegetable farm that I can steal from if I have a saw blade. <laughs> you have to work at it if you want to steal there. Yeah. And this game isn't one of those games where, you know, if you steal everyone aggros, someone has to watch you steal it. Right. So this is... Although I'm guessing they're probably suspicious if you come back after stealing something. I think they might be sometimes, yeah. But that one on the far right, the one where I first pointed out the steal icon, there is no way <laughs> to have them not yeah. notice. Yeah, there's like three people in that they're, room. They're basically playing cards over the top of the box you'd be stealing from. <laughs> I'm also surprised that like there's not more steel icons there because you kind of went into their abode. Yeah. It, it seems to be the sort of thing where this is less a, like a settlement and more just sort of a rest stop for the refugees that are moving through. Sure. So, so they're not they're not living here. They're just this is just a place. Yeah, I'm not sure they ever move, but I don't think this is considered like a faction or anything like that. Sure. That run to exit button is like so handy. Yeah, the run to exit button lets you just take the shortest path back Shit. to the entrance. Yeah, I'm impressed by the pathing AI in this game. Yeah, sometimes it'll just say, "I don't know how to get to there." 
Yeah. Well, it looks like that's the end of day six. Yep. So let's see if we get raided so I can save scum again. <laughs> <laughs> save scumming didn't even work last time. Hey, it made Pavel get hurt instead of Bruno. That wasn't a good movement. Well, I was calm. Time. Cool. I guess we're gonna save scums and maybe get raided instead. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I was done the the playing, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I was done playing. Fuck the world. <laughs> oh. You tell him. <laughs> All right. Well. Good night, Matt. Good night. Good night.